this video, you will learn how to fluently add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators by using the butterfly method. You will also learn how to convert from mixed numbers to improper fractions and improper fractions to mixed numbers. Let's look at 1 half plus 1 fourth. Using the butterfly method, we are going to solve this problem. By grouping the 2 and the 1 and the 1 and the 4, we are going to make it a little bit easier. So we're going to multiply the 1 and times 4 to get 4 and 2 times 1 to get 2. That is now our new numerators. Then we're going to take 2 times 4 to give us 8. That is our new denominator. Now we simply just add the top numbers and keep the denominator 8. 4 plus 2 is 6, keep 8 as our denominator. But because 6 eighths, 6 and 8 share a common factor of 2, we must divide by 2 to simplify. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So our final answer is 3 fourths. It works the same for a subtraction problem. 5 sixths minus 2 fifths. We're going to do the same grouping, 6 and 2 and 5 and 5. We're going to multiply 5 times 5 to give us 25. And then we'll multiply 6 times 2 to give us 12. Those are our new numerators. We must then multiply the 6 times 5 to give us 30 as our new denominator. Simply subtract 25 minus 12 to give us 13 and keep 30 the same so our answer is 13 thirtieths. What happens when your numerator is bigger than your denominator? We call this an improper fraction. Let's look at 11 fifths. 11, the numerator, is bigger than the denominator of 5. So we have to make this into a mixed number. A mixed number is one with a whole number and a fraction. It's very important when we do this to keep the denominator the same. We look at that denominator and we use multiples of that denominator in order to find out how many times it goes into the numerator. So 5, 10, and we must stop there because if we go one more, it'll be 15. Now we went in two times, so that is our whole number. To get the numerator, we take 2 times 5 is 10 and subtract it from the original numerator. 11 minus 10 is 1. That is our new numerator. So the 11 fifths is the same as 2 and 1 fifth. Now let's look at it the other way. We're going to take 2 and 1 fifths and make it improper. So we simply take the whole number 2 times the denominator of 5 and add the numerator of 1. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and we keep our denominator the same, and it's as easy as that. 